Good morning guys, today we are in a very special part of Turkey which you may have never heard about Kayakoy, the abandoned Greek village Look at this Why was this Greek village which housed thousands of people just abandoned like this? Let me tell you the story It all started back in the 15th century when the Ottoman Empire rose to power and conquered most of the Mediterranean area and that included Greece so the Greek people were under the control under the rulership of the Ottomans for several centuries of course the Ottomans were Sunni Muslims for the most part and the Greeks were Orthodox Christians so there was always this kind of tension between them even though the Ottoman Empire did grant them a lot of rights they were put as second-class citizens along with the other Christian groups like the Armenians and the Assyrians later in the 19th century in 1821 the Greeks would launch a revolution against the Ottoman Empire and eight years later they won they won their independence and in 1829 this is how we got the modern state of Greece that we know today Of course, as you can imagine, the Ottoman Empire was not happy about this. They lost one of the most precious territories in Greece. And this would only mark the beginning of their decline in the 19th century. The Ottoman Empire would later be called the sick man of Europe because they started losing territories like crazy. They lost Greece, they lost the Balkans, they lost territories in Africa, and then they would later lose their territories in Syria and the Levant. The Ottoman Empire was in a mess. It was a complete disaster. So of course, the tensions between the Turks and the Greeks would just escalate from there. The last straw for the Ottomans would come in the 20th century when they lost again a lot of territory to the Russian Empire. And then they wanted someone to blame basically. So they were like, all right, well, who are we gonna blame here? Uh, let's do blame on the Christian population. So this included the Armenians, the Assyrians, and the Greeks. And they would start a campaign of deporting all these Christian populations down east to the Syrian desert. So a huge population of Greeks living in this area, West Turkey, would abandon their villages by force and move to the east. Today the area of Turkey is overwhelmingly Muslim. However, we have to remember that back in history, uh, it used to be mostly Christians because Christianity came here pretty early on and there were huge Christian communities in the west of Turkey in Cappadocia you can still see all those cave churches that were abandoned here this village was also abandoned and in the east there's a lot of Armenian churches that were abandoned by the populations that used to live there but the 1915 genocide just changed completely the demographics of Anatolia and they became a Sunni Muslim majority during World War I, the Ottoman Empire had sided with Germany in the conflict. But you know that Germany lost, so the Ottoman Empire just collapsed. It was dissolved and the Turkish people were given just a small piece of land in central Turkey. And they had surrounding neighbors that were hostile towards them. But afterwards came Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. And he would fight against the Armenians, the Greeks, the French and the English and he would reconquer a lot of territory. He basically created the Republic of Turkey we have today in 1923 and without him uh, maybe this nation would not even exist anymore. Uh, it's quite a climb. Let's sit down for a bit. Well after the foundation of the Republic of Turkey in 1923 Atatürk wanted to really emphasize uh, the, a new Turkish nationality for his people uh, but this left very little room for other minorities including the Christian population so this process was called Turkification in which he wanted to assimilate other cultures into the Turkish Republic but asking them to abandon you know their cultural heritage basically so there was a huge problem there were still huge Christian populations in the West although the events of 1915 had kicked a lot of people out there were still a considerable population of Christians around Anatolia so Turkey and Greece decided to make a deal they agreed to trade populations so the Turks still living in Greece would come home to Turkey and the Greeks living in Turkey would go to Greece of course the common people had no say on the matter 
uh, most people didn't want to leave their homes. They had been here for centuries, really. And they had to abandon everything just to go back to their country of origin. This is one of the villages that was affected by the events. In Greek, this village was called Libisi, but now it's called Kaya Koi. And it was never repopulated, although a lot of although most Greek villages were. For example, Izmir, one of the biggest cities in Turkey, used to be a Greek city as well, called Smyrna, but that was repopulated. But from what I know, uh, there were huge stories that this place was haunted. Once it was abandoned, it was haunted by the uh, the the Greek people, I guess, the Greek dead people. So the Turks were kind of scared to repopulate it. So it was left alone. And today we have this huge abandoned village and just overlooking this beautiful mountain, really. But that's the history of Kayakoy. You can come visit it. It's really close to Fetiye. And I hope you learned something new out of it. I mean, it's such a fascinating story. The foundation of Turkey and the fall of the Ottoman Empire. And yeah, there is still some friction between Greece and Turkey, but from what I've seen, geez, from what I've seen, it's mostly like a friendly competition. I don't know if you're from Turkey or from Greece, let me know how that situation is going. I would love to learn. From up here, you can see how far the village goes. It was, it was quite big. Look how this just completely abandoned, stripped bare of anything. Beautiful mountains too. This is the highest building in the complex, the castle. You could overlook the whole ocean over there. Are there any Greek ghosts here? What would a Greek ghost even do? Would he like sell you some giros or would he break some plates on the ground? I don't know. I ain't Greek. This was the village, but don't go The church is closed for safety reasons, but at least I can show you the outside. <laughs> Looks incredible. There it is.